Why don't we put it on a pistol? It's out there. Let's see. <laughs> now we're talking. All right, guys, today we have something fun. This is the Pard Sphinx. They call it their thermal imaging camera. I call it a lot of fun because, of course, we can use it as a scanner. That's what I've been doing with it the most. But it also comes with a rail mount. So that's what else we're going to do. We're going to throw it on our guns today and see how she runs because it has a reticle option as well as a ballistic camera. So that's always a lot of fun. But first, we have to pay the bills, and we want to say thank you to our sponsor, PTR. PTR, you know them from making those cool roller delayed blowback guns like MP5 clones and they have the rifle varieties as well. They have their full line of vent suppressors which I have heard great things about but this that I'm holding is my new favorite handgun. This is the Archon Gen 2 Type B and it boasts of this AF speed lock so you have a low bore axis and interchangeable back straps and even magazine extensions so you can have a subcompact, a compact full size competition type frame on your gun and it shoots great. It is smooth and the recoil reduction is real. I was surprised. You can go check out that full video on this Archon and check out PTR Firearms. Now, let's shut up and shoot. And we've checked out the PARD scope that they had and had some fun with it. But I saw this at SHOT Show and this Sphinx 384, I was like, I want to play with it because it's different. And I love things that are different. Now, putting something with a cell phone type screen on your gun, I know a lot of you... Um, I don't know, basement dwelling warriors will say, oh, it's gonna give away your position. <laughs> I'm not worried about that here at the range or when I hog hunt and whatnot. But this is cool because I do use a thermal all the time when I'm hunting, even if I'm not hunting with it on the gun, I use it to scan through the woods. And if you have a downed animal, it's easy to find. And so this part has a cool features that we'll just run through real quick. We're not gonna go over the boring specs, but the features, of course, you have the thermal lens right here. You have a battery on on this uh, unit itself and this handle is removable and it has a battery that's like twice the size and then you have a little laser I was like what's that for it makes perfect sense because if you're in the pitch black and you're like hey it's right there you turn on the laser and now your whole team knows that's where the heat signature is and then a light for when you're using it as a scanner but our favorite thing is a rangefinder the laser rangefinder goes out to I think like 2,000 yards on a reflective target as far as the thermal you're gonna be able to detect a human at 1400 meters and a vehicle at 2600 meters. Today we're going to go shoot it out to 300 yards ish and I guess that's about all there is to it. Let's shut up and put it on a gun. So now we have it on our CMMG Banshee SBR. This is in 22 because it's fun and it's cheap and we can shoot 300 ish yards and it's kind of like shooting a centerfire rifle at a thousand. Now I know what you're thinking that's a weird chick weld or something. It's not that bad because you don't have to be straight in line with any lens so we can just use our chin and stand back here as far and as natural as possible instead of you know this is my like red dot scope view I was like I'm just gonna be here in a more natural position so it works now we have several different color palettes but we're just keeping it on this pretty one, iron red one at first I want to start off with that Texas star now this is neat I guess I thought okay it's like a hundred degrees heat index here in Texas and I figured we wouldn't be able to see anything because of ambient heat but man those targets all those are just shining on their own like that one out there at uh, 175 I didn't heat it up so anyway let's, let's shoot that Texas star and let's just be uh, let's do a shoot it wrong so it goes crazy Come on, start spinning. God, start spinning, make it hard. There you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, ah, still too easy. Okay, now it's getting harder, <laughs> especially through the lens. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yep, and oh, poop on that. Bad rounds or something. And it's jammed again. Fooey. All right, we're gonna put a mag in. We're gonna just start shooting and see how this ballistic calculator goes. When we took it off of the handle and put it back onto the rail and then the rail back on the gun again, the zero was not what it was earlier. And so I had to scoot it around. And so always confirm your zero. All right, so we got that LaRue target at 100. We are going to range it. And your ranging reticles off. There's 97. By the time I push the button, it was different. All right, so it drops about 10 inches. The detail's amazing because we're seeing that bullet fragment and even fall on the ground. That's cool. Let's try a little bit further. This is just a shorty 22 around 160 yards. That's right. So it's going to drop it down there. I know it's hitting a little right, so I'm going to hold left. 
The trace looks great on the gun itself. This thing is not feeding today. Oh, that was close. Oh, it hit. They're hitting, they're just not falling. So if we want it to fall down, we need a bigger caliber. Let's get a different one. Now we have it on my 300 Blackout. This is the Fold AR. I just leave it like this just to trip with your brain. We have 220 grain subsonic for my friends over at Ammunition USA, and we have it being quiet by an AB A10 suppressor. We do not know uh, if, if we, when we re-zeroed our mount, how far off we are. So here's our good zero mount test, 50 yard target. Wow, it is off to the left again, just like the 22. So instead of messing around with it, we're just gonna go ahead and just keep going and hold right. Let's see if we can finally knock that LaRue target down. I'm gonna zoom in. We're gonna range again. Uh-oh, is it off? Oh no, yeah, it's way up there. Yeah, that's about right. All right, and there's our drop. At least it's on camera. Okay, we're gonna hold left because of the new mount zero. Nope. I had my hold backwards. <laughs> the bullet's hitting left. I need to hold right. Let's try again. There it went. <laughs> okay. So with the proper zero and the proper holds, we can do it. One more gun, because this isn't much of a recoil test, but I think a 308's a good one. Now we have it on Adam's Arms 308. This is the Griffin Explorer suppressor. If you like cool and, as in, you know, not hot, uh, piston-driven guns, go check out the video on this Adam's Arms. But well, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and shoot that 100-yard guy right there, see what it looks like. Yes, I am just having fun, thank you. I can see clearly the 200-yard gong. We're gonna laze it just like usual. 90, that's not right. It's picking up brush in front of it. Oh, there's 200 on the dot. Why am I thinking that it's, it doesn't matter. It's a 308, it's not gonna drop that much. But we can see it. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I don't know if I can see anything else downrange though. So we may have to just change this. Oh, I can see that LaRue. That LaRue, that we're gonna knock that joker down. I think I can barely see the 300 yard target out there. You know, now if we hit it with a propane torch or something like usual, we'd see it really good, but I think that's it. So I'm just gonna give it some hold without the calculator. That was it. Oh, and I missed it on the last one. All right, so kind of cool, but here's something I thought of. Because we're not looking at inside an optic, why don't we put it on a pistol? It's out there, let's see. <laughs> now we're talking. This is not zeroed. We're just gonna point it and see if we destroy the screen, but we gotta record on the unit itself. All right, <laughs> let's see. Okay, it's not zero, but it's hitting good. Oh, oh, the screen went completely white for a second, but then came back. That's a good sign. I need to close my mouth when I shoot because I got all sorts of trash in it. Okay, I dare say we can consider this part Sphinx torture tested now. That's kind of cool. So if you like cool thermals, you can go check out PARD, S-P-A-R-D, go check out their website. This is that Sphinx digital imaging camera. Thermal, of course, this is the handle that goes with it, but we like the rail because we like guns too. I guess that's all for today, guys. Okay, bye-bye.